You know that expression, you learn something new every day? Well, here on Paige's Lessons, I'm going to share with you a variety of insights and self-reflections that will inspire and motivate you to rethink how you process and experience life. I'll be giving my best advice on topics such as relationships, career, and overall life transitions. I can't wait to share these golden nuggets with you. Let's get started. Now that we are, you know, midway through February of 2022, and perhaps in January, you set some really clear intentions or specific goals. I'm curious, how are those going? How are those things that you really want in your life, whether that's a better relationship or to be more fit or to just overall feel more happiness day to day? How is that going? And I'm curious on a couple things. What has there been any pressure in that January and that New Year's time that you feel like you had to do this? That this is like because the social media or, you know, whatever, just the overall holiday culture of we need to get our shit together in the beginning of the year. I'm wondering how that's making an impact on you and if, you know, that's really working for you. So reflecting now, mid February. What I wanted to really touch on in this episode was thinking about your goals and kind of doing some reverse engineering here because it's usually like, oh, I have a goal to get X and X is the result. That is the overall outcome, whether that is a physical thing, like I will be this number of pounds or I will be this insert this adjective or description of feeling or whatever it is, it's a specific outcome. What if we created your goal not just to get the results, not just to get the finalized product, but because it's going to take work every single day and consistency to get that X result, why don't we fall in love with how we're doing that? Because in my experience, whenever I set a goal and I'm looking far into the future of, okay, this is going to happen. This is going to be my reality. The work to get there has been an obligation. It's been a drag. It's been, ugh, I got to do this because I want this. Like I've always had a shitty attitude to get the results I wanted. And I would rather wake up every day and be excited that I'm working on that goal, that I'm working in the whole progress, the whole actual process about me getting the goal instead of just fantasizing the end result. Like I want to be in love and really just just be excited and enjoy the day-to-day process because I'm incorporating new habits, right? Because in order to get something that we've never had before, you're going to have to do something you've never done before either too. So, you know, even just weight loss is just a very easy example, even though that's not um, something I'm promoting. I'm not a nutrition coach. I'm not a doctor. But usually the main popular goals, especially like New Year's and beginning of the year, it's like, okay, I want to be X number weight. Now, what are, you know, maybe your past habits is just like eating Oreos every night and only going to the gym maybe once a week, right? Like you're not going to get the results that you want by doing the same habits you're doing right now. So what could you be doing that is completely different and it's just 1% different And, you know, it doesn't have to be something absolutely drastic, but what can be something that you either remove from your current day-to-day life or something that you can add and something that's fun. So an example for me is like going on daily walks. If a weight loss is part of my end goal, how about making daily walks, even if it's 15 minutes, you know that's contributing like it's yeah it doesn't matter really how long the walk is but like it is contributing to my end result but 
I love walks because I love being outside. I love getting that vitamin D. It improves my mood. It's a good distraction. Like there's so many benefits of just walking outside, right? And if I can fall in love with just that simple habit and then not even think about, oh yeah, that's probably going to help with my weight loss goal. Like I'd rather be distracted by the habit itself and not keep chasing these freaking results that it's just going to frustrate me even more when I'm not immediately seeing, you know, that instant gratification of that weight loss. So what could be something in your control that you either want to add to your routine or maybe something you want to remove from your current routine? Maybe it's a bad habit. Maybe it's something that's just not benefiting the new lifestyle or the result that you want in your life. So think about what is it that you could incorporate that's fun, that's exciting, that is for you, for your physical or mental or spiritual health. And it just so happens to be a part of that result, to be, it just so happens that it will help you achieve your goals faster. And if we can just focus on spending every single day of our life in the present, in that gratitude, in that abundance feeling, then our goals are just going to happen organically. They're just, it's not going to be so much fucking work of like, oh, I I worked so hard on this goal. No, like that, that's coming just from like a very yucky place, at least in my experience. Like I'd rather just really just wake up and be surprised and act like it's already happening and be like, oh yeah, the goal already happened because I already kind of aligned my energy that no matter what, it's going to happen But I did different things every day compared to, you know, two, three, five years ago. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you would like to either add to your new routine or take away that so you're not just focused on the results, the outcomes, and those desires that you're looking into. I hope this was helpful. And until next time, I'll see you later. If this podcast truly resonates with you, take a screenshot of the episode and share it on your social media story. Tag me on Instagram or Facebook, and my handle is at pagemitchell.coach. I'm so excited to see what you shared and connect with you. Thank you so much for listening, and until next time, take care.